Yeah, well, all you have to do is go back when you edit it. It just here, I'll start doing it right now. Pro. <laughs> Hi. Here we go. I'm gonna. Yeah. Yeah, you see me. I expect you to do this. I know you do. Thank you for that. For that. No, word. you don't. Have to do I kind of no. want to now, but yeah. Um... It's the internet. You're busy. Let's do this. I'm Jeff Grubb. I write for GameSpeed.com, and I am here with my very good friend, Mike Minotti. Mike, tell me what we're doing this time. I can also point at cameras. Oh, wait, I'm missing it. There it is. There you really, it is. you really missed on that. You really blew that one yeah, pretty I guess hard. Yeah, I can't do that. Wow. Okay. <laughs> anyway, the professionals, Mike, please. <laughs> we are doing the levels from Tony Hawk's Pro Skater One Plus Two, the compilation. Although these are also just the levels from Tony Hawk's Pro Skater One and Tony Hawk's Pro Skater Two. So. Uh, but yeah, we both like uh, these games a lot. You maybe yes. like them a little bit more than I do even. I'm not sure, but... Very, very important games to me, yes. I have uh, yeah. an emotional attachment to these games, absolutely. Um, uh, I, I will say, my favorite, my favorite Tony Hawk level, not among these. Um, I, that is interesting, because as I was thinking about this, and that's something we'll probably get into, uh, I think I like the levels from 3 the most, because I, I think so they too. get a little... They get a little bit more thematic. It may be even a little bit more silly here. And as we get through this, I might, I might, I might have a critique that there's too many levels that are just a city. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I think we're we're gonna talk about that as we get through there. I, you know, I think they were still figuring it out. And you're right. Like they eventually started going with themes and stuff, and that worked very well for them. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure we'll get into it. I, I, I just remember being downtown LA for E3 and going to a party mm -hmm. and stumbling across the Tony Hawk level from Los Angeles. And I think that must, I think that's Tony Hawk's Pro Skater Three it's either three or four um and she'd be like oh my god I, I love this level and i'm just here now i'm like walking through yeah, here i didn't yeah. realize that was like they really just took it out of the world like that um but yeah uh so uh do, let me ask you do, when you're coming up with these ideas for how we're going to do this do you just think of games that would be uh that has a, a good metric for a tier list because it always seems to work out there's always something <laughs> no no i have to struggle mightily to make it work <laughs> and uh so like you know tony hawk has its own kind of uh system here i had to make up two on the end though but at the top we have sick then pro then in the middle is i which i a, a good word for middle but it, you know it's professional I. yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> then, then below that we have meh and the last term is lame so th those are your tiers sick high pro meh lame all right uh and then we got we have oh, you've already sort of sorted out all the levels here for me so i guess we can get started um uh, and, and, you know, before we start recording, you were saying, I, I, you know, you don't know if there's any that you hate. I think that's kind of been a common theme through these tier lists. Not a lot of stuff that we hate. There's a lot of stuff that's like, it's going to be, you know, good to great. Word, usually. Right. Yeah. 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 Uh, and you know, some, the, there are some things. Yeah. Uh, but there's definitely some standouts among these levels for sure. So uh, let's let's get into it. I, uh, no rearranging, right? This is all in order. This is in order. Let's start it with the warehouse. I should say that this, this, this whole thing's including the secret levels and the competition levels. So okay. it's, it's everything. Very good. All right. So then warehouse, let's start with warehouse uh, from Tony Hawk's pro skater one. Uh, how do you feel about warehouse? Oh man. It's, it's one of the most iconic first levels yeah. <laughs> ever to me, really. Like when I think about video, like first levels in a video game, right. I think about like Mario one, one, and then maybe warehouse is next in terms of just an iconic, like, this is really good at just teaching you what this game is about and this little, like, microcosm of the entire game. And obviously, levels get flashier than this, and they get a lot bigger than this. But I, I always I always have fun in the warehouse, man. I'm not sure what I could really say against it, except, like, oh, I guess it's not very flashy. But, like, you know, it's a warehouse. It right. shouldn't be flashy. It's like this little skater paradise. Uh, I don't, what do you think of warehouse? No, I I agree. I I really like Warehouse quite a bit. It's um, you, you, it's all the things you said. It it really just it is it's inviting. Uh, it's very easy to understand. Uh, it, it's like it's it feels like the right size for a first level too. Like it's very easy to keep everything in your head. Like you know where everything is pretty quickly when you're first trying that. And like um, th there are like small nooks that like as a beginner begin beginner player that you'll ignore until you get a little bit better, and then you'll be like, oh, I can actually get up here a little bit easier now. And then you incorporate those into your uh, in, into your like your routine or whatever. But you always kind of see them and you know they're there. And so it's always like this promise of like, OK, as you get more comfortable, you're going to be able to just hop right up there and, and make that work. And I think that I think it, it's really like you said, it's a very good level uh, that introduces what Tony Hawk uh, kind of is at its core. 
And I, yeah, I've played that level so much now in my life. Uh, so many times, like a, a lot of times, just like doing score attack with friends back on uh, when it was like N64 and Dreamcast or whatever. Um, and then uh, and then now playing it on this this updated version, it still holds up really well. So, uh, yeah, probably sick for me. Yeah, there's probably that like one to be like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to put sick. I want to put in sick. I love Warehouse. Yeah, like, I love Warehouse, you know, too. It, yeah, it, it's it's so it's perfect at what it's doing. It's such it leaves such a good first impression for this entire franchise. Yes. Yeah. It, yeah. It's great. I'm like that. You, you gave me a list of levels to like just remind myself. I'm just looking. At it, I'm like, oh, yeah. I know my line on this level so well. Um, all right. So that put, OK, so we put warehouse into sick. Uh, that takes us to school, which is another very good level. <laughs> Um, <laughs> it really is. I I think school is also like uh, you know um, when you're sort of making a mixtape, you want to like start start high and go higher. I really do think school nails that. It's you know you start high with warehouse, and then school is like okay, now let's let's see what else we can do with that, and uh, you know start with a big drop, a big grind, um, and then just like a bunch of cool interactive stuff, like uh, figuring out eventually how to unlock the school, uh, things like that, um, and, and it's very. Um, uh, it, it, this one's pretty good at, at, at segmenting uh, uh, of stuff. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's there's just a lot of cool stuff happening in this level for sure. I guess the question is, do you like school or school two more? Right, they pretty close. I, and I I love school, but the fact that I like school two more mm -hmm. makes me think like maybe school is just high, and then when we get to school two, maybe that's going to be sick, or maybe that's just also high. I don't know. No, I I think I agree. I think I think you're right. I think that school two is better and that's probably gonna end up in sick and so yes but yeah uh man it is a really good level though um yeah maybe maybe at the end we'll decide to put it in sick anyways i mean yeah. it, it, it is very good i i do like school a lot and again i think it's a neat uh it's, it's like a perfect level right like yeah just mm -hmm. add some school like that's exactly where a skating level should be yeah yeah it's and yeah it, this one's like you know with warehouse, it was very much, um, it's all self-contained and it's all right there in front of you. Uh, school is like, okay, here, here's how to do a sprawling level. And then it's also really vertical. There's like a lot of different levels on it. And it's, yeah, it just is, and it encourages you to really go wild with your, um, with your, it, instead of like staying on like one element instead of like, if you were stuck on the half pipe in warehouse, when you got to school, it's like, okay, there's just so much happening here. And there's, it's so easy to grind from one element to the next it makes you really want to keep going. But uh, uh, yeah, let's put let's put it in pro. Still, it's very, very good. Um, all right. That takes us to mall, uh, which uh, is one of the downhill levels, right? Um, it's the first downhill level, which th that's like a whole conversation in of itself. How do you feel about the downhill levels there? Uh, like, I don't prefer them. I will yeah. say out of them. I'm well, my favorite of them is is really a Tony X Pro Skater three with uh airport because it starts as a downhill and then it just becomes like a skate park level at the end mm -hmm. so i like airport so i think mall is my favorite of like these first wave ones because I, I think thematically it's really cool uh there there are still some fun lines it's not too painful if you have to backtrack here like downhill jam right. if you need to backtrack it's it, it can get annoying again i'd, I'd rather just play a, a normal level so uh I, I guess it's it's high maybe meh for me how do you feel about it i, I think it's probably what pushes it into I... for me is um so th when it was in the original game it was just a mall and then for this this uh, re-release for this updated version they turned it into a dilapidated abandoned mall and it's like okay it's like a really smart thing it's like a really smart way to update this stuff and uh i yeah i like the way it looks um and it's it, it, you know you're right in terms of a downhill level that's the best one i think the the um it really wants to encourage you to pick up a lot of speed get going do big tricks but then there's like just enough secrets off the side that you want to stop and actually check it out and look at them um so yeah i think i will i, I think let's put it i but you are right about the mall the one thing that is i do love how they made it like a abandoned mall in one plus two which is yes which is such a 2020 thing, right? Yes, it really is. Three, two. Too big. Oh, I see. It's going to block my face. I just, I'm going to, I'll just kind of like, so people just get like a, a general quick look at it. I'll kind of make it vertical as well. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so now let me see here. Let's go. Oh man, I missed that. Okay, hang on. I'm tired of you trying to erase me. I know. <laughs> All right, let's just. After watching all these things, I'm like, I favor one side of my mouth more than the other one. It's driving me crazy. I also touch my face constantly. So we're going to start working on these things. Yeah, I know. I, I mean, I, I know exactly the kinds of things you're talking about. I do the same things, too. I can, like, feel my jaw kind of offset to one side, too, and then I see it on camera. Okay. Then... Yeah, that's pretty good, right? Yeah, yeah, don't mind me. I'm just, yeah, you're just doing that. All right. I'm just exercising my lips. Which don't, don't make a dirty joke. <laughs> All right, so then... Uh, fancy stuff. Yeah. This is is... This, are, we, are we stealing somebody else's video now, though? I mean, yeah, but I don't think it matters too much. I'll put the link to it in the thing. Okay. All right. Look at this. We're getting, we're really getting high tech now. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, the mall, I mean, yeah. So, I, 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 I really, I really like the art style and the updated version. Um, and it's, it's a good showcase of like the lighting technology too. They, they updated that stuff and looks good. And the jumps, these jumps are like really good. I, I, I like that yeah, stuff quite a bit. Fun. They, uh, they did good. So, um, yeah. So, we're, we're, okay. Let's see. Let's go back to the list here, which is, Move it up. Uh, I we've already put it here in. You know what? I gotta adjust okay. it a little bit. You gotta move it. There you go. Just a little yeah. bit. Yeah, we put it in high. I I think high. It's the best of these levels, so I think maybe high is good. Yes, I think I think you're right too. Okay. All right then. Um, let's check the next level, Chicago. Um, this is the first competition level, and right. it's just kind of an indoor skate park, and it's. It's pretty simple. Like, I, I like these levels. I think they are fun, uh, kind of, you know, a, a good change of pace from the typical goal base levels. So I, I don't mind doing them. I think like, I think some of them are a bit more fun. I, I, you know, it's, it's interesting how this is where the game's like, yeah, now we're like a skate sim. It's about really replicating these skate parks. Yeah. In, right. And like, this, like, eventually when the game has a create a skate park like level, these feel like nice creative skate park levels that we eventually get. Before. Yeah, I think you're right. I, I I don't love any of the uh, competition levels. Uh, I, I think I probably like, well, no, I don't even like this one. The well, best. Roswell is kind of fun. We'll get to that because at least yeah. it's more themed, right? Right. And yes. Bullring is one also, and Bullring is more themed. So those two kind of stand out among them. Yeah. Um, I think uh, this it's this one. And then uh, what's the, uh, is Roswell the other competition one in Tony Hawk's Pro Skater uh, 1? Uh, Burnside is also Burnside, so, okay. Yeah, Burnside's better than Chicago. I think so, too. Okay, so yeah. So the, do we want Chicago down in lame? Maybe Chicago's just lame. I mean, again, it's fine. It, it yeah. does the job. I don't need to go back to it. I play it the one time I yeah. need to to get to the next level. Yeah, you're right. I, I get my, my really good score there, and then I move on, and I'm not like, yeah, I'm definitely not exploring. There's nothing to explore. It is what it is. Um, Okay, so that's in lame. So then that takes us to downtown. Um, and let's, yeah, it's, it's um, like the, this is like, it's supposed to actually be like a, a Minneapolis downtown. Uh, this is like a, a city level. It's at night, which is neat. It, this has that, uh, like the movie theater, which is a really cool set piece area. And you have a couple of those roofs that you can get on, which, which is pretty fun. So yeah. I like this level quite a bit. This fountain here. Yeah. That you see that's, that's a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I think, you know, the, so there's a lot of city levels, and I think that uh, I think this is probably one of the better ones in, in Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1. Um, I, I think, yeah, it does a good job of like, okay, so there's like this big open space there, that 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 like bowl area um, with, with some cool grinds, and then, but it still funnels you out into all the cool alleys in the city, and each of the streets feels like it's got a lot going on. Um, so it, it, to me, this is a pretty good level. This is a solid level. Yeah, I'm trying to think if I like it more than that. And uh, like the movie theater is the one thing. Like I like that movie theater. I don't yeah. know why it just looks neat, but I don't know if that's enough to get it beyond like middle of the pack, I suppose, huh? 
Right. So I, I think high is probably correct for this one. Yeah. I mean, I like the night vibe of it. It looks nice. But yeah, high, high I think is correct. There's better city levels. So moving it into high. Okay. All right. Uh, downhill jam. It's an iconic level, but also kind of an annoying one. Mm -hmm. Right. Like this one where you, if you miss something, it could be a pain. Some of the objectives here are, are, are annoying. It has, this had the one skill point that took me forever to get in the very beginning. Like I had to like, it's right by some half pipe, right? The start. I just couldn't get up there forever. The secret tape here is can, can do a bit of work, uh, can take a bit of work. It's just annoying because if you miss something here, you you have to like try to awkwardly backtrack or you're like, I guess I'm just yeah. going to go do the whole run and I'm then get restart, back. Yeah. And when you get the perfect line, it's super fun. And I love like how, how strong the like water pressure is here when you do the valves and stuff like that. So like it's yeah it's 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 good man it became a whole game remember uh, yeah because I mean, it's, it's Tony game. Hawk's favorite level uh yeah. just for your favorite his favorite level from this game so they're like oh well, let's make a whole t downhill gym game yeah, I mean that jump is fun but it, to me it's 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 probably not much more than a meh uh, I think meh is correct I I um I think it's a cool concept I just don't enjoy playing it as much as the other levels and. and yeah, uh, and I think um, and, and malls theming is better for me. This one's just like, oh yeah, it's like an industrial park or whatever. Um, I, 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 yeah, I think uh, it's a memorable stage because there's like a lot of cool st stuff happening again. Like yeah, th these these ju these particular jumps and getting all the speed, it's cool. But um, I do think I lean tor more toward it being annoying than anything else. So, all right, let me uh, let's go back here, check out the list. Uh, downhill jam in meh is is actually exactly how I feel about that. All right, Burnside. Yeah. Burnside, another of the park levels. This one is this one's the one that's a bit more like grungy. Uh, I suppose that helps you remember it. So I, I think it's better than Chicago. I guess the question is, is it better? Is it so much better that it gets out of lame and gets into meh? Uh, no, I, probably not. I, it might be another lame. Um. Let me, let me try to see if I, I cause this one's like the one where I'm like, ah, I kind of don't even really remember much about it. Um, I, I think yeah, it, it's, there's like that one small bowl, like right yeah. in the middle. Uh, right. I mean, I mean it, it, it's a little skate park and you, you know, it's, it's basically just for getting a high combo so you can get a high score in the thing again. Like I, it's yeah. fun to do. And then I do it the one time and I move on. Yeah. And uh, yeah. And, and I think this, the most, yeah, the most standout thing is that bowl. You get in that bowl, you do some really great vert skating, uh, and you know the jumps. You could do the jumps like really fast if you like. If you land on the corner and then you immediately turn and take the other side of that corner right back up, um, it can feel very kinetic and stuff. But it's not. I mean, that stuff happens on other levels too, so it's not that special. And I like how the bowl has like the never soft eye in it, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. The red, yeah. So uh, I forget if they kept the eye in the remake. I, I'm not sure. I, just, I I feel like they must have. I don't know. But um. Yeah, it's fine. It's I don't know. It's it's. I'm gonna put it. Bad. I'm gonna put it in lane. lane. I, I think lane. yeah, yeah. I think yeah. I think that's fair. Um, all right. So then then we're at the streets. What this is the streets. This is the San Francisco level, and I think this level, it's probably my the best level in terms of taking a city and just like making a little like miniature version of it in this in one level, right? Like you have so many. You have like uh, Chinatown. You have the trolley. You have uh, all all the stuff from like uh, the the wharf and. Like all these lamb, like we've been to San Francisco a good number of times for work, and it's funny. Like playing this, I'm like, oh man, I like recognize all this stuff. There's that famous windy street, all, mm -hmm. all that stuff there. So uh, yeah, I think this is, I think this is a good, uh, good amount of fun. Yeah, I think uh, in terms, yeah, in terms of capturing the city, this is the best one of, of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater One. I think, um, I, I, I think it's maybe a bit too sprawling. I get, you know, I get it. It's like one of the last stages. Uh, so right. they're they're going to go bigger rather than than con contained. Uh, but I, I don't know if it does it any favors. I think there's a baby like too much happening and you can really get stuck oh, on oh, one part of the level. Right here. But this, this is right this, here. this is actually this is great. This is but that's the, it does a good job of like there's so much happening that but there's a, almost a little bit more in each area than what you're expecting, which is pretty cool. Yeah. And I like the the format is basically you have this pretty open section in the middle and then on the edges are all these kind of like little like modular areas you can go into and, the, and they'll have some things. This kind of becomes the format for a lot of the Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 levels, really. Like this is kind of where where it goes, the direction. Plus you get to grind on cop cars and break them. Mm hmm. That's all. Oh, yeah. So I, I, I for me, this one's pro. Uh, 
How about yes, you? Yes, I think I think this is sec. Yeah, I think it's pro. And it's not quite sick, but I, I like this level a good amount. Right. That's pro. And then right. I think Roz well is probably the one competition level from Tony Hawk's Pro Skater One that at least gets into mad because it has like some stronger theming to it. Right, you can go to that room and you can see the alien yeah. and all that stuff. So, like, it's fun. It's more fun than just skate park. Yeah, they're, they're um. This website keeps jumping around on me, but uh, I I really remember loving Roswell when I first discovered it and playing it again. It's like, yeah, this is this is still pretty good. I it's still a competition level. It still has those same issues. I think it probably keeps it down into uh, meh. Uh, but it it's you know it's distinctly better than the other competition levels. Tried to, I tried to move it. I tried to move it from OBS. There we go. There you go. All right. Um, okay. So then we're going to go to Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2, huh? Yep, we sure are. All right. So that means Hangar, which another really good first level, right? Yeah. I mean, gosh, I, I'm going to almost feel a little silly if our only two sick levels are the first levels from each game. <laughs> Probably not. But uh, Hangar is also fantastic it's it's similar to the warehouse but it, it kind of it gets you more used to this idea of secret areas which is a bit more common into an express gear too you have a couple of those and it's you know it, it just encourages you to grind on more things and just kind of all the over more random stuff he just opened up the one right there by grinding on the propeller yes yeah uh yeah i like this level also a ton this level is also great in the game boy advanced version or yes uh, it really right? is it was so good there. I, so yeah, I, I, wonder that, I, I, I wonder if that speaks to something about the level. Is it just special that it works on the Game Boy Advance? You think is it, is it or is it, or did well, that? Is I, it, think the, yeah, I don't know. Go I ahead. think the smaller levels probably favor the Game Boy Advance even even more. So like yeah. you can almost see you can see a good chunk of the level anytime. Like here's that secret area right there that he is in yeah. where the tape is. Uh, like I love there's like these two separate areas here, and then there's that other one past the tape. I, yeah, and the theme is very again. This is one of the more interesting themes. Like uh. A helicopter hanger that's neat yep. yeah i love hanger it's got to be sick for me got to be yeah, sick i i i agree it's it, it's um you know you start with that big ramp coming down you go right into a big jump over the half pipe so immediately like you're like having a lot of fun and you're also discovering oh there's the half pipe uh you see the propeller on the wall so you're like man that's cool that's weird there's a propeller on the wall i wonder if i can grind on that it's just really like game design 101 other people should be copying this stuff. It's so well put together. Um, and then, you know, you just, you keep going and you're like, I see everything. This is just a big box, right? No, you keep skating. You do under, uh, you do find those secrets, uh, getting over that, that wall in the middle when you're first starting off, like you're just getting your Tony Hawk's legs under you, uh, getting over that wall is a little bit of a challenge. And then once you like figure that out, like, oh, you, but by the time you're done with this level, you're like, you're grinding that you're jumping at no problem. You're hopping over it using the ramp or using the, the, the quarter pipe on the wall. Um, yeah, just an, all around fantastic level. Absolutely. Uh, so yeah, I, I, yeah, I already put it up in six. So then uh, school two, uh, another pretty good level. Yeah, school two. It's pretty great. It's it's that school theme again. This one is this one is a bit more sprawling in a fun way. Like it's almost like a, a few mini levels kind of connected with some of these tunnels and in, in, in other sections. And they each have a, their own identity. Like this level is big. But because it has so many sort of standout features and like landmarks, you get your bearings pretty quick. It just takes a few sessions for you to really remember where every like significant rail or goal mark thing is. So, man, yeah, this is good stuff here. Yeah, it, it, you know, and it follows the same pattern that we have from the first game of, you know, let's let's really like spread stuff out and let's show you how, like how big these levels can get, and how much we can have going on. And um I think the challenges in this one are, are, are really well done where they're like, they, if you are a person that wants to complete all the challenges before you move on, you really have to get good at this game at this point. Cause there's uh there's some stuff where like, Oh yeah. If you want to like hit the, uh, uh, the, the, a certain gap, it really requires you to challenge, uh, challenge yourself and see if you can, or even to upgrade the character in the proper way. Uh, so like you get familiar with that system uh, again, some game design one on one stuff, and then unlocking and, the school, and then having like permanently unlocked. Gymnasium. Gymnasium, yeah, that's yeah. great. Yeah, yes, that's super it fun. It really is great. Uh, I yeah, I love this. This is uh, it is one yeah, without a doubt, a sick level. Yeah, it, I mean, just, it's, it's, yeah, it's like an all time, it's an all time great level. Let me go ahead and bring it up so people can yeah, see. Yeah, yeah. school two. Yeah, I put school two right up there. Everybody, see? All right. Yeah, I, it's I, I, I like it's a level I just kind of always want to be playing. Like whenever I'm thinking about 
video games it's like man I, yeah i could go for school too right now absolutely it's quintessential quintessential yep. Tony yes. um so yeah marseille is another uh challenge level right is this a, a competition i'm sorry competition yeah, level. This is the first competition level which what, what's funny is i've been to marseille I, I i judged a uh mobile game awards show there some years back and uh i i, I wish i remembered it back when i went then that there was a tony hawk level because apparently this is based off of a real skate park hmm. there i wonder if i could have found it um it's yeah, it's it's slightly more interesting than maybe Chicago and Burnside. It's, it's probably not as good as Roswell, but especially in this game. It has this nice kind of sunset glow thing, but it, it's like a lot of bowls and yeah. you know, and better what to think these skate parks, right? It's like a lot of those bowls, and as as opposed to like half pipes or some of the like more fun grinding things that they make with with some of the other levels, those are only so interesting to me, at least in terms of spending most of the time in a level in. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I I'll leave it up to you. What do you think, Matt or Lame? Uh, so, yeah, so the, if, as far as competition levels go, I do think this one's probably my favorite, and I don't think it goes above Matt. Um, and no. I, I think the reason it's uh, the reason I like it is I do think that, yeah, the bowls encourage you to want to do vert skating, but if you kind of get into the flow of it, you could sort of start uh, trying to grind them and, like, try to um, take the, what is it called, the tangent, like off the, the you know, the co-tangent or whatever, yeah. off the edge of the circle and try to catch the next the bowl's lip. Yeah, whatever it is. Um, and continue what, what your What do grind. you think I learned in school, Jeff? Co-tangent. <laughs> Um, it sounds like some calculus stuff that I did not take. It's definitely calculus, but uh, and I was definitely in that class, and I don't remember a, a single I was, thing. I don't think I was. Um, but yeah, it's 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 a good level for grinding once you sort of like understand what it's trying to do. Uh, but even then, it's like okay, I kind of have to fight this level to get it to work that way. Um, and and you're right, like it's it, other than that, it's a pretty one note. Uh, so is this, is this the first European level? Huh? Maybe. In this it's, that's that's mildly interesting. Yeah, that is. There's a couple, and there's another one coming up here in a second. But uh, uh, that takes us to New York, which I'm gonna go ahead and bring up in the video so people could see. Uh, I, I'm I'm kind of I'm a little torn on New York. I think I don't like it uh, quite as much. But uh, I, I guess I want to hear what you think. Um, I, I like the Central Park area. I think that's pretty neat. Uh, and and like the subway overhead, getting up there is fun. I, I don't think it says much so like it's so like that san francisco level right we talked about how fun it was it had all these san francisco landmarks and it's kind of this microcosm this really just feels like you're on a block of new york which i get maybe makes uh, more sense uh, uh, uh I, yeah i don't know i don't i don't have any problems with it i don't like it that much i don't feel very strongly about this one again it's like a pretty it's a city level it's a big city level and it, it's fun it gets the job done but it doesn't excite me in any significant way. Maybe it's maybe maybe out of all the things to base level off of, New York is a pretty safe and maybe boring one to go with, right? Okay, yeah, yeah New York. I think I think all that's I think all that's right. I think the um the idea that it's um its theme feels safe, so it's inherently not quite as as exciting uh, is true. I I also just think it, it's it's like. Getting like, I think the most exciting thing is getting up on the subway up here. And I think it's yeah. kind of like it doesn't necessarily like lead you to it, but it also doesn't feel like some big secret because you always see that ramp leading you up there. You know, you're supposed to go up there, but the, the level almost always wants to funnel you back into that uh, that Central Park area, that that, that bowl feeling area, which, uh, you know, this person doing the speed run that we're watching uh it, it they you know they didn't they spent very little time there but when you kind of start the level it's sort of like you fall in there and you spend way too much time and it never feels quite right and then you there's like a, a, a one of the skate letters is over there so you're trying to do a, a ramp to get over there and that ramp never feels right uh I, for, for me this one it's it's probably meh i think but um i don't I, I guess i don't hate it hate it i just don't like it as much as some of the other city levels and then there's also a lot of city levels yeah i think matt is i think matt is right for this one Right. All right. So, uh, Venice. Venice. That's another iconic Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 level for me. Uh, it, it's a more interesting theme. It, it has a vibe, right? Like, I was, that's a whole, like, late 90s Mikey Minotti and middle school vibe. It's Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 on Venice. Like, I can hear, that's like when I hear the Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 soundtrack, that's where I'm transported. Yeah. Is this level, right? Now, mm -hmm. I, I think my only issue with it is some of the goals are annoying. Like, like all Ollie the Magic Bum, as fun as that is, it's annoying how 
he's there's not just five bums you have to jump across. There's the one you have to find where he is, then jump across him. Then you have to like go through the rest the whole level again, find out where he went next that time, jump him again, and then you keep re- repeating that process. And these transfers too, you have to like do four transfers, but you don't know which ones. And there's like a ton of potential transfers throughout the level so you're just trying all of them and you're getting frustrated it's like oh that's not one of the transfers yep. i'm supposed to do okay yep. so <laughs> so i think the level it's, the level itself is amazing i think the goal design is a is a little weak sometimes on this one uh what, what do you think uh no i think i think you you're you're right that um it is absolutely a absolutely a memorable thing it is uh it's got a lot of style um i, I know it looks great in the remake it always looked great uh and uh, and I think, like, in terms of just, like, the f- physicality, like, the locations of all of the elements is really well done. It's It feels like, you know, there's some cool corridors connecting some really cool areas. Uh, you, you know, you start the half pipe kind of over in the corner. There's the long grind to start. There's the, these tops, the, the tops of these, like, building things or whatever. Um, and then, like, yeah, like, then, uh, then all, like, the, the cluster of half pipes and stuff that you could do all the transfers. Uh, and, and there's there's more, but it's... It, it, all that stuff feels good, but you're right. Once you start having to do the, um, once you ha- have to start doing all of the challenges, it does fall apart a little bit. I do remember being frustrated, even when I did the remake, like being frustrated trying to find those specific uh, transfers and trying to like replay the game, o- replay the level over and over. Like, okay, now I know that Ollie goes from here to there. Next time I'll learn, he goes from here to there to there. And I feel like, I just, I would yeah, skate around like over, aimlessly over, trying to find where he yeah. was. And that, yeah, that's so. A, a fantastic level dra- uh, sort of dragged down by its its um its challenges which probably puts it in pro for me yeah it's got to be at least pro it is it is amazing but yeah it is slightly annoying yeah and it's uh you know they'll, they'll they'll sort of figure this stuff out a little bit as they go along in the future games where they begin to make the challenges more interesting and more varied like the one le- like every level doesn't have to have the exact same sort of set of challenges they get way more creative um and i think venice probably taught them that lesson uh skate street mike this is uh, another challenge level it's probably better than chicago and burnside just because it, it's bigger uh this is i think the level where they set the tutorial in right and it works very well for that there's there's that there's all those uh kind of uh sections above you what, what are the words that i'm looking for you know uh not the raptors. Hang yeah, raptors is the word thank you jeff grub I'm here for you the raptors you can get in the raptors and that's kind of neat I think there's even an out. There is a secret area outside you can get to. I forget if it, how secret it is, but uh, yeah, it's all right. What do you think? Yeah, th- yeah. I mean, it's better than Chicago and Burnside. I, I it's um, I, I I like the look of it. It looks like what I understood like uh, constructed skate parks to be at that time. Uh, you know, it was you know if there was going to be a a skating magic wonder world that actually exists. Um, and let and made by like a skating company or whatever uh, it was going to look like this and and you know that plywood look it was at that time it was like it was stylish it was in vogue um and i i remember enjoying that that this that, that aesthetic um but still it's it's just it's not one that i go back to it's just the same it's the yeah. same story with all of these right so uh, for me it's, it gets like meh or lame sure what do you think uh well okay do, do you like it less than marseille in um roswell i think i do yes all right let's play it on lame then lame's fine give chicago and burnside some love yeah give, give a little right. company there yeah exactly um all right then philadelphia yeah another city level probably more, it's it's better than new york i think uh it, this one's almost kind of similar to that uh san francisco level in terms of that design of like you have like the big middle section and you kind of have this stuff sur- surrounding it. Uh, so there's, there's some fun verticality to it too, as you're seeing here. Um, and, and this had one of the memorable uh, goals where you have to like get to the top of that one building and then you jump yeah. off and you land through like that, that, that glass building. Yeah, man, this is a, yeah, this is a lot like San Francisco. Now that I really think about it. it. This has one of the more fun uh, secret areas to unlock. You grind on like that telephone wire thing and like all the right. telephone poles crash into that fence and you can go into there what, what uh th- this line has always been fun too right when you realize like you can get up there so uh, what, what do you think about philly uh, i th- i think that it's um i think it's a pretty okay level that is uh it, it, it sort of uh rises on the tide of of the cool things you could do like those lines and w- once you discover yeah, like right oh there's there. yeah like knocking that stuff over and then opening this area 
uh, that really pushes it up. But it, for, for me, it probably pushes it up into into high, into the middle of the pack. Uh, it's, um, it's, yeah, I, I think that's oh, right. right here. Right here, there's that gore. You had to do lip tricks. Yeah, yeah and, that, and it was like it's it's like that thing with Ven. It's like, all right, where am I supposed to lip trick? Mm -hmm. He's kind of go around all of them and try to figure it yeah, out. It's, it's not know. like there was like a. It's not like there's a map in the game that's like you know that or like with like waypoints to tell you where to do that stuff. And yeah, so it's pretty can get really frustrating. Um, but I, I, I don't know. It's still like, the, it's still a pretty good level. I think so. so fine. I think, I think high is fine. I think it's right in the middle of the pack. Okay. Um, all right. Well then that takes us to bull ring. Yeah, this is a competition level, but very well themed. You have that, you have the, uh, the loop, the loop in the middle, which was on the cover of Tony F. Pro Skater 2. It was like, they're making a promise right when you bought the game and you're kind of waiting. Like, am I really going to do the whole loop? And there it is. You can do the loop there's a lot of really long grindy sections like the outside ring right and you have the bull charging around and uh the bull can hit you and isn't that fun yeah i uh i the, the more theme these levels get the better they get for me uh absolutely so uh i i, I like what's like yeah i it, it's it, it is it's like really kind of it's small and self-contained uh, i mean like all the other uh, uh competition levels um but it has more going on and like, yeah, having the actual bull run around, right. which I, you know, I think actually getting hit by that's pretty fun. Like, and it wasn't like, but it also wasn't annoying. You sort of had to like want it to happen, but for the most right. part, I guess. So like the competition levels are small, but like our, you know, two of our favorite levels are hangar and warehouse and they're small and they feel yeah. very dense and like, you know, well themed. And this is closer to that. Like this, this, this almost more so than the other ones, this could have just been a level with goals in it and, and stuff like that. And it would have all worked out fine, right? Like they could have thrown, you know, five, I don't know, bull testicles to collect or something <laughs> and called it a day. So yeah, this, I don't know if this is my, it might be my favorite of the competition. It's certainly the most memorable of the competition levels. Yeah, like I, mean, I, 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 almost forget, I almost forget it's a competition level. Yeah, so same. Same. I, I, I would be okay with this one, maybe sneaking up into high. I think maybe it should sneak up into high. Okay. All right. That's cool. That's yeah, that's fine with me. I, I, I like bull ring. It's just one of those ones where it's like, um, it's at the end of the game. So I didn't like play it over and over and over a million times as much. So, uh, but, but whenever I do play it, I really do enjoy it. Um, all right. Chopper so it, drop. Yeah. It's one of the secret levels. It's re it's really, you're just, you jump off a chopper and you're on a big half pipe and that's really all it is. It's, you know, it's, it's kind of neat. But uh, not much. I feel like maybe it could have been a bit more exciting. That it's probably just a lame for me. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, it's kind of. I think I remember this one. Um, I must have got Tony Hawk's Pro Skater to on the PC, and one of them, I think they had an unlockable Darth Maul or something, and I played this level with it. Or maybe they snuck this level into another game. But I just remember playing this game. Or maybe it's when I modded oh, Tony Hawk's great. Pro. Like, Pro Maybe when I modded Tony Hawk Underground on the PC, maybe that's maybe. what happened. I think Spider Man was the unlockable character. I think I, think I remember sense. doing this level with Spider Man. Is is what I think I remember. I might be wrong, but uh, yeah. So you know, it's fun to it's fun to get people an unlockable because I think you get it by like beating the game with all the characters or something like that. And so it's, you know, it's neat, it's nice, but you know, I don't. It's not my favorite level. No, yeah, close. no, definitely not. It, yeah, it's, yeah, right. It's it's a fun treat. And it's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying they shouldn't put it in the game, but yeah, lame is, I think, the correct position for that. Uh, all right, then the last one we have here is, is Skate Haven. Heaven. Have, have a skate Heaven is what I meant to say. That's right. Um, yeah, this is a bit better than, than Chopper Drop. It's a fun secret level. There's kind of like this warped reality dimension thing to it, which is kind of interesting. Uh, it... it it, it kind of like Chopper Drop. There's, I don't think there's really goals or, or anything. It's just a place you can skate around and look for high score stuff, which is fun enough. They did a really good job of making it look neat in the remake, right? Like it's got a bit of a Tron thing. Uh, so yeah, it's fun. Uh, it's a, this is a cool thing to just you know to unlock. Yeah, I uh, yeah, I think I, I think it's just uh, no, yeah, it's another fun treat and doesn't sort of rise above that. It, it's, it's definitely not one of the levels I think of when I think of these games. Um, no. It's, it, it's going to kind of be on the bottom half of the list for me. Um, but, you know, it, I don't know. I don't know if it's necessarily lame, but I, I don't think it goes above meh. It's probably meh. I'm going to put it meh. All right. You know, someday we're going to do a tier list where we have like intense disagreements and 
fights, but as much as I hate you, as much as I hate you, as much as I hate you, our tastes are too similar. Yeah, hey, I think we're just making the correct decisions here, Mike. We're just doing I the right that's one. That's right. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. That's why. That's why we decide. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's why Game Beat decides. And we've we've done it this time. Um, all right, so we got the list here, Mike. Should uh, here, let me go ahead and. Concise, make, make it a little bit squished up for people so we can see us a little bit better. All right. And then, yeah, so, yeah you want to go over it? Yeah, sure. So, in the top tier sick, we have Warehouse, Hangar, and School 2. I do like both these games. Amazing first levels. And T- Tony X Pro Skater 3, I like Foundry quite a lot also. Same. So, yeah, this game, yeah, these games did such a good job with the first levels for a long time. Then, uh, in Pro, we have School, School 1, I guess you can call it, uh, Streets, and Venice. Then in high, we have Mall, Downtown, Philadelphia, and the Bull Ring. In meh, Downhill Jam, Roswell, Marseille, New York, and Skate Heaven. I almost call it Skate Haven now. <laughs> you poison my mind. In lame, we have Chicago, Burnside, Skate Street, and Chopper Drop. And yeah, that seems, seems yeah. pretty good to me. Again, there's nothing here that's awful. Like, I have fun right. playing all of these levels. Yeah, and, and the levels that are in lame, like... Well, one of the good things you can say about them is they're quick usually, and you you yeah, get past really them. Are. It's not like they're like holding you up and you get stuck on them for a long time, and they're like they're going to stop you from playing. That doesn't happen. You just get through them real quick, and then you just keep, get back to these really great levels. Yeah. So um, what? If yeah, we did, if, I mean, I guess we could probably just, we might just do a Tony Expert Skater three level thing at some point. But like, what are what are some of the levels there that uh, you're, you're kind of thinking of as your favorites that you I, wish you could talk about? The, the, that LA level was definitely one of them, um, but LA. but f- yeah, the Foundry. I think Foundry is Foundry's great. Suburbs. Yeah. What what's the what's the snow level? Is that Canada? Uh, yes, it's Canada. Know. Yes, that's a good one yeah. too. Yeah, it's Man. and it's very different, but it's right. it's also very good at its theme. So yeah, it's just. Jeffrey, are we really not going to get Tonas Cross Skater Three remake? I don't want to think. It's like I don't want to think about it because it's. Um, I really, really, really want it really bad. I really, I really that, want I it. That game. Now the nice thing, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater Three. I think aged a bit better than one and two did because it, it, yes. that, that was a point where they pretty much had the full, like the, the bare necessities in terms of what I expect once Absolutely. you get the rebirth. Right. So, so you're, you're fine. Like going back to Tony Hawk's one can be tricky without having a manual and Tony Hawk's pro skater two is a little weird without the revert, but. Right. I agree. I, I, I like, I'll just put Tony Hawk's pro skater three on, on an emulator and really I'll, I'll want nothing to change. And all you can do is make the graphics better. Um, and with Tony Hawk's Pro Skaters one and two, they really did need to get those, get those, get the controls to like that base level, like you said. So you're right, uh, but I still really want it. I, I, yeah. I you know, these, these games, uh, this game is coming out to Switch soon. So uh, I think maybe, maybe if it does really well on Switch, maybe Activision will look at, at doing some DLC. But it just seems like probably right. Not. Well, they have to figure out who's going to do it because it's not going to be Vicarious exactly. Vision anymore. So maybe you got to get, you know. Uh, Toys for Bob to to jump on that one. Yeah, now. I don't know. And, it's like, and Toys for Bob is probably busy, probably doing something else. So they probably are already doing something else. I wonder if that's, I wonder if that's a thing Activision uh, is, is looking into, like more studios that can just be remake right. machines. Yeah, like yeah, I, I get like I get like Vicarious Vision's very good, so you bring them into Blizzard to like support this very important studio. I get it, I guess to a certain point, but. It's like, well, I just start a new studio to do that. But I guess maybe you start the new studio to do stuff like this instead. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think maybe you get... bring up, bring over one or two people from Vicarious Visions that has that knowledge and let them oversee it. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. OK. All right, Mike, are you ready to get out of here? Yeah, it was a lot of fun. That's yeah, I, good, I, I, good I, I, mean, I love these levels. Absolutely. I love these games. Got, I kind of want to play them now. So mm-hmm. oh, oh, hopefully my, my Retroid Pocket 2 gets here, which like, I haven't been able to think about anything else uh, since I ordered it, which is a bad thing to do when you order something from China. You can't, you can't, it's like, because it's going to take weeks. So I got to put it out of my mind. But as soon as it gets here, I'll probably put Tony Hawk on it for sure. Uh, you can't play that until you beat Final Fantasy IX, though. I'll put Final Fantasy IX on it first. You're right. Absolutely. Those are the rules. I, I, you, yeah. you will never care. Right. I hope that thing doesn't report what I'm doing to the internet. Oh, my like to God. Discord. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. We're going to get out of here. Uh, we'll be, you know, if you're watching this, it's probably after the podcast there, but you can check out our podcast. Uh, we'll have another tier list very soon. Uh, there's some uh, other shows on the channel now. I'm starting one about the games mess. Uh, I plan to have uh, on my, uh, a special correspondent, Mike Minotti, very soon to talk about stuff. Oh, when man. I, when I need to fill out the, the fill out the airtime there. So, I like uh, it. Yeah, so check those out as well. Um, all right, we're going to get out of here. Have a good one. Take care of yourself, and goodbye. Bye. 
I'm about to I'm about to warp your world. Okay. Give it to me. High in pros is, is mixed up. 